Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Mamad Adnan. This is a part two of the three videos of amazing timesheet in Power BI Pilot report. If you have seen this first video, I'm sure you are waiting for the second video as well. If you have not yet seen the first video, just click on the link given on top of your screen so that you can continue learning how it and what it is going to be. Now let's get started. For the quick recap, we have just imported this Excel file into our SQL Server. This is the one and we have created a view here in SQL Server and this view we are used in our Power BI Pattern report. This is the one and this output here. Now the challenge is here. Normally, whenever I used to develop something, I used to compare this manually one by one. So here, as you can see in Excel, there are few implies are there on the same date, I have these three shifts here for this one. And if you look at this George here, we have two shifts assigned to this employee. And for this Walter, it is three shifts assigned on the same day. Now let's go and check what the result is. So we can go here down George. It is showing on the first, it is A5 2. A5 is 2. But B1 930 is not showing up here anywhere else this is strange and let's look at another example of walter might be at the last of this one william um, yeah here's the walter it's c36 nothing else it's c36 nothing else oh it has 30 percent on that day so this is a misleading for their employee right so they have assigned two shift or three shift but in our report it is not showing anything at all so this is a risky factor so in order to achieve that we need to create some workaround on that for that i have solution so we need to create a row number for that and that row number we can bring it in our power bi pilot report that row number i'm going to create it on the sql server i made a video about the cte how you can create a common table expression in sql server it's a three video out of it. So if you haven't seen that, just go and check out the link given on top of your screen. So now here, I need to alter this view. To alter this view, I mean, I'm going to commit, comment this one. So here, we can do it with the help of CT as well, but in this video, I'm not going to use that. I'll just use the regular one. So I'm going to use the row number feature available in the SQL server. It's row underscore number. And then over, we can use the partition. I'm going to use partition by is by an employee name, EMP name, comma, plan date. So I'm going to close this one to get a good view. It's a plan date, right? So, and then I need to add the order of as well. So I'm just bringing it down here. So row number is a function name. And from that, we need to use the over partition by employee name and plan date. For each and employee, for each and every employee, for each and every date, it will just reset the number. That's why it is called partition. And order by order by employee name, comma, plan date. Comma, the shift start time. Right, because we need to sort it by ascending order of the shift is L the shift, mid shift, or night shift. Right. So here I need to give it as name. So as R N. I'm going to this row number. This I'm going to give this R N here. So let's select this and run before altering the view. If this works or not. So on seeing this one, everybody is showing one because they have everyone has one shift in a day now if you look at this one it's e he has three shift in a day so on 4th of feb he has b1 a5 and b2 6 6 45 and 12 so 1 2 3 it is giving a correct order so it is resetting the number before and after each employee and each and every date and on the single date it is sorting by the shift start time this is perfectly working so this is the way so once we add this now let's go to first of all you need to alter the view right so just click here and then alter view
yeah view is altered now let's check if the view is perfectly working or not so select scroll from actually this should be from time sheets not from time sheet view so alter view now select scroll from time sheet view yeah now i can see this rn here Cool. Now let's go to Padnet report. So this is the one for a design view and right click this table and data set properties. Nothing you need to do is just be here in the fields pane, sorry, in the query and then refresh fields. And you can see in the fields, a new row has added here. So click OK. Now let's come here, right? So this RN, I want to add it into this matrix table. So if you just drag and drop here, you will get this icon, whether it has to be in this way or if you just turn it on in this way. If you add like this, it will go up beside to shift type and shift start time inside the value section of the matrix. So I don't need that way. I need in the column itself beside to the employee name. So this is way to run, leave it here. So now I'm going to match this column. I click these two cells match cells and execute as shift numbers so selecting this let this center and click one now click run as you can see for everybody it has showing one 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 here now look at this one a so it is one two three you can see it one two three on the same day for this employee before to that, I want to show you one thing. So in the matrix, you can just select this one and right click here on the little pale color. So right click here and then table properties. You have this option that keep header visible while scrolling, keep row headers and keep column headers. I want to do it here. And for this one, it's for the printing purpose. So click OK. Now it's OK. Now if I just scroll down, as you can see, the top rows are still available. So it is it is easy for us to navigate the result, right? So in this initially we have seen for the George, right? So it George, now we can see A5 is there and B1 is there. Let's go to the Excel file. For George is A5 and B1, 2 and 930. A5 and B1, 2 and 930. Perfect. And now for the Walter. The last Walter. Come on. Yeah, here it is. Walter C3, C5, and C4. C3, C4, and C5. Correct. And it is because 6, 615, and 730, right? It is sorting in order. 6, 615, and 730. 6, 615, and 730. This is cool. So these are you can able to get the, all the values, I mean all the shifts available for those employee in a particular date. So this is the second part of this series. If you like this video and if you learn something new on this just hit the like button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices if you're not yet a member of our channel just hit the join button to know in detail about it if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video